morning and welcome back to my channel as you can see your girl is in a chit chat mood today no makeup on bare face and i was editing some videos so i have my you know the screen guard glasses on it's not numbered guys however as i can see right now on camera it's looking nice so i thought it would be nice but then it's reflecting too much of light so let's remove this okay so today's video is about uh, a demonstration of facial hair removal that i do because you guys have been asking me quite a lot uh, how i'm removing my facial hair during this time especially during quarantine period because uh, you cannot go to any parlor or salon to remove your facial hair and I bet you cannot see on camera, but I have a lot of facial hair, especially the peach first that is there. And I like a you know nice and smooth canvas when I apply makeup. So I don't like this peach first because then the makeup doesn't really glide onto your skin that smoothly. So I always remove my facial hair, my peach first using a razor, uh, which is like this this is like an eyebrow razor this is very very nice I use it all the time and also I have a tool I'm not sure what this is called but this is really nice instead of a tweezer I use this particular tool because this is really very easy you just bend it like this grab the hair and then you just this and it's like you know threading so it's very very nice you can do this at home it's very very effective as well especially uh, you know the hair that is little thick if you have little bit of thick one two hair on your face which is little thick you can just pull it out with this particular thing otherwise the razor works absolutely fantastic for me and I don't like waxing my face guys because if you wax Anybody who waxes the face, the more, the more you wax your face, if you age, your skin becomes saggy and then it will be like, your skin will be like, mm, it will drop down, it will have like loose skin because when you wax, it actually pulls the skin. So continuous pulling of the skin, especially the facial skin is very, very soft. So it, you know, the elasticity gets lost. So that is the reason it's avoidable. I never, ever uh try and wax my face i don't do that but i stick to this um and i wanted to delay this video because um uh, i wanted my facial hair to grow so much that i can show you guys a live demonstration of how exactly uh hairy your girl is so that is the reason so without further blabbering let me get cracking into the video because there are certain steps that you need to follow before you start shaving your face to avoid any breakouts so let's get cracking okay so before you uh, shave your face you need to prep your face so that you avoid any cuts or any you know um, infection or anything like that make sure your razor is really really clean you need to wash it off with cold, uh, hot water and it needs to be really clean and a new and sharp razor it should not be blunt razor then you will have skin irritation so you need to first start cleansing your skin so i am using the garnier micellar water first uh, so i will take it on a cotton pad and clean my skin first very nicely so you just need to clean your skin see without any makeup also there is so much dirt that's coming out so you need to be very very careful about that that you clean it properly you can see a little bit of breakout that I've got here because it's that time of the month guys and hence I am breaking out so you can ignore that and I have a little bit of zits here and there so just ignore that okay so now that you see you have cleansed your 
uh, face with this particular micellar water you need to now massage your face so I generally massage the face with a sweet almond oil one because it's very very good for your skin it helps your skin to you know become really soft supple and second it gives your skin that nice smooth glide for the razor to glide on so not much all you need is just a little bit of this um, just few drops maybe two to three do drops of this and uh, just rub it in your palms very nicely and then you dab it and then you massage it nicely very nicely you need to massage it into your skin okay now that you have massaged this oil in your skin just let it seep in for at least uh, maybe two to three minutes and then you will see that you will have a very very nice base to start shaving so let me get the mirror okay so you need to hold the razor like this like so not straight in a slanting way and very slowly you need to just glide it like this do not put any pressure guys then there is you know a chance that you might cut yourself very very slightly and always go in the direction of your hair growth not in the opposite direction then you might again cause rashes on your skin it will look a little red when you actually you know do this when you shave your face but that's fine it will go off in some time and this is the amount of hair that is there I'm not sure if you guys can see this there is a lot of hair let me show you on this and a lot of gunk so you can see this lot of hair that's coming out and lot of gunk actually so we will do this side i'll put you on time lapse and i'll do this side be very careful when you do your forehead guys because there is a chance that if you are you know uh, putting a lot of pressure or you're trying to do a lot of area at once then there is a chance you might chop off your eyebrows it has happened with me and hence I am telling you guys so make sure you 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 know take very very small area and small strokes So now you can see so much hair. Just look at this, guys. Let me take this. Oops, I dropped it. This much of hair. This much of facial hair has come out, guys. So you can see how much hair is there. And now it's time. To make sure that you wipe your face very nicely again with the cleanser because uh, you need to take the oil out of your skin and see where is exactly if there's anything that's left on the face that can be removed with the help of this one I always pluck it and also my upper lips I pluck it so one or two you know whichever is remaining I just take that so now let's quickly clean my face with the micellar water once again to remove that excess oil from the skin okay. 
anything that will be there any gunk or anything that is there will also come out guys and it's very very effective you will have a very nice shining skin okay so now that the oil has been removed now it's time i can see that there are like probably on camera you will not be able to see um, i have like couple of hair left here couple here and a little bit of hair here so i will just take that out with the help of this one so either you can use this one or you can use the razor any one of it i am showing you both of them whichever is convenient and easier for you guys you can choose that so let's do it with this one so all you need to do is uh just place it in like this and you hold the hair and pluck it like this again mm -hmm. so it's like gripping the hair you just hold it grip the hair and you pluck it and you can actually see oh my god so much hair i'm not sure if you can see in camera but there is a lot of hair. Just see how much hair is there. Probably uh, if I can take it out, there is so much hair. I will not be able to take it out right now. You need a brush to you know, take it out. But there is a lot of hair on this. So this is how I remove my facial hair. And once you are done with this, you just need to put a little bit of rose water to calm your skin and preferably if it is cold rose water like from the freezer or something just pat it dry i use rose water to calm my skin or you can use a turmeric uh, face pack all you need is a little bit of curd uh, turmeric and honey and apply it on your face leave it on for some time and then you will have a nice and glowing smooth hair free face for almost two to three weeks depending on your hair growth however uh, don't apply any makeup the day you do your shaving process because generally if you can rest it for the day or at least for four to five hours so that the redness on your face calms down you can apply ice as well that is also fine um, and you can enjoy a smooth hair free skin after this so i believe this video was really helpful for you guys if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the like button and also the subscribe button because this month I am sure you guys are not gonna love it if you miss any of the videos because it's my birthday month and as I told you there is a lot of videos coming in so probably I would try to post maybe every day if possible I'm working on that but definitely there is a lot more videos this month coming up so Stay fit, stay healthy, be obsessed about yourself even in this quarantine period and most importantly, stay safe, stay indoors, take care of your loved ones, spend time with your loved ones and let me know how you are doing it in the comments below. So see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.